So whenever you've arrived either in your comfortable seat or in Shavasana, close down your eyes and begin to tune in, begin to connect into your breath. Take in a slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold when you get to the top and let out an open mouth exhale. Slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold at the top and let out an open mouth exhale. One more time. Slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold at the top and let out an open mouth exhale. And continuing here to connect in, to tune in to yourself, tune in to your breath, tune into you, <clears throat> tuning into your heart, and just slowing down the breath even more. Seeing if you can take in slower inhales and let out even slower exhales. Just really tapping in and slowing down as much as you can. Letting go of everything outside of you. Letting go of all the noise. Letting go of all the distraction and just coming home to yourself and really giving yourself this time and this space together to be with you and to just tap in and to tune in, to feel your heart beating, to feel your lungs filling, to just feel you and be with you. Taking in one more slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold at the top without breath. And an open mouth exhale. And then whenever you feel ready, wherever you're at, Find yourself into a comfortable seat, keeping your eyes closed down as much as you can, if that feels comfortable to you. Just continuing to be inward and to guide yourself inward. In the beginning part of this practice, we really don't need to see anything, just really feeling. We're going to do this by feeling. So coming into that comfortable seat, you can sit on your seat with your legs crisscrossed. You can sit on to your, the backs of your heels, whatever feels best in your body. Bringing your palms just gently resting on your thighs. And wherever you're at in your breath, take in a deep inhale and slowly rise your arms all the way up so your fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Palms face one another. And exhale, palms shift away, arms come slowly back down by your sides. Inhale, palms reach away and lift up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms away, coming back down by your sides. Inhale, palms reach up. And exhale, palms slowly come back down. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, slowly palms come back down. Inhale, arms reach up. This time, exhale, slowly twist over to your left. 
bringing your right arm in front, your left arm behind you. Inhale back to center. And exhale, twist over to your right. Your left arm reaches in front, right arm reaches behind you. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist over to your left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist open to your right. Inhale back to center. This time, exhale, exhale, place your left palm down and your right arm reaches up and over to your left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, your right arm comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale back to center. Exhale, right arm comes down, left arm reaches. Inhale back to center. And exhale, slowly bring your palms back down by your sides. Inhale here. And as you exhale, make your way into a neutral tabletop, bringing your palms underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Your back is in a neutral spot here. And if it feels comfortable, keep your eyes closed down and just feel into the sensations here as we flow through a few rounds of cat cow. So on your inhale, lower your belly down, lift your tailbone up, lift your chin up, gaze comes up towards the sky. And exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin, really stretching up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Exhale, round your spine, really press through your palms, press through your knees. Inhale back to neutral tabletop. And now reach your left foot behind you, really pressing the heel of your foot back into whatever is behind you. Taking an inhale here. And as you exhale, bring your knee into your nose, rounding through that spine. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. As you exhale, bring your left foot over to your right side. Place your toes on the earth. And then look over your right shoulder, looking back at your toes. Really feeling this here through your side bodies, really getting into this deep stretch. Inhale back to center. And exhale, place your knee back down on the earth. Bring your right foot behind you, really pressing that heel into whatever is behind you. Toes are pointed down. Inhale here. And exhale, bring your knee into your nose. 
Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. And as we exhale, bring your left, your right toes over to your left, dropping the toes on the earth, gazes over your left shoulder. We're feeling this here again through both side bodies. I really feel this on my right side, really getting into my right hip. And every body is different. And you may feel something different. Inhale back to center. And exhale, knee comes back down on the earth. As you inhale, walk your palms one palm print ahead of where they are and tuck your toes. And once you exhale, slowly lift your hips up towards the sky, press into your fingertips and the palm of your hand. <clears throat> Placing a lot of bend in your knees here, coming into a down dog. So bending into your knees, and it may feel good in down dog to bend one knee into your chest and then bring the other. And it may also feel really good in your body to take both of your heels over to one side and then slowly bring them back over to the other side. Again, getting into those side bodies, just different ways of engaging. And then coming back to stillness, putting a lot of bend in your knees here, maybe even bending your knees a lot and really pressing your torso and your chest back towards your knees. <clears throat> and then as you inhale, re-straighten your legs, look between your palms, and exhale, slowly step behind your wrists so your feet are hips distance apart. There's a lot of bend in your knees here. Your torso is kind of hanging or draped over your thighs, kind of using your thighs as a shelf here. So you're really kind of resting. Your lower half is almost like it's in a chair position. Palms can stay on the earth for support, or you can reach for opposite elbows. And I invite you to sway side to side here if that's available to you. <clears throat> and really letting your head go, like let all the muscles in your neck relax. Let your shoulders relax. Just let all of that hang here. Letting everything go. Giving it all a break. Unclench your jaw. Unclench your teeth. Breathe. <laughs> it's very common that we like to hold our breath. And coming back to stillness, placing your palms on the earth. And on an inhale, halfway lift, bring your palms to your shins. Your shoulders are back. Your back is flat. Gaze is straight down in front of you. And exhale, fuller, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up slowly to standing. Arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms. Bring your arms out like goalposts. Slight back bend. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, palms to touch. Bring your hands to heart center. Close down your eyes here. And just reconnect. Connect in with your breath. Just feeling and observing where is your breath at, feeling any sensations that have been ignited in your body. Just checking in and tuning in here.
Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. And exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your left foot back. Inhale, rise up for a low lunge, supported lunge. You may want to walk your front foot forward just a little bit. And inhale here, reach up. And as you exhale, lunge into that front leg. So keeping a 90 degree bend, but lunging into that. Exhale, or inhale, shift back. Exhale, lunge forward. Really feeling this in your hip. Inhale back. Exhale, lunge forward. Inhale back. And exhale, plant your palms on the earth. Tuck your back toes. Bring your front foot back to meet your back, coming into a high plank. Option here to lower to your knees. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Your palms come under your shoulders. Your legs are zipped up together as one, pressing the tops of your feet into the earth. Your knees may lift up with the earth. And as you inhale, slowly lift your chest, coming into baby cobra. There's little to no weight in your palms. They're just there supporting. And as you inhale, see if you can work just a little higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, your left foot between your palms. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, reach up. Bring that front foot, walk that front foot forward just a little. Inhale here and exhale, lunge into that front leg. Really feeling this in your back hip. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your back foot forward to meet your front, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach. And exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. And again, closing down your eyes, reconnecting with your breath, feeling any sensations on your left side, on your right side, just observing and reconnecting, reconnecting, slowing down that breath once again. As you inhale, arms reach up and overhead. And exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back. Bring your right knee down to the earth. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lunge into that front knee. Inhale back. Exhale, lunge. Inhale back. Exhale, lunge. Inhale back. Exhale, plant your palms. Tuck your back toes. Step your front foot back to meet your back. Again, coming into high plank or lowering to your knees. And then slowly lower all the way down to the earth. 
This time, bringing our palms down by our hips. Palms face the earth. Legs zipped up as one. And this time, as you inhale, lift everything up. So toes are pointed back, fingertips pointed back. Crown of the head pointed forward, so your gaze is down. You're really balancing here on your belly and on your pubic bone. And on your next inhale, see if you can lift just a little more. Exhale, lower everything back down. Palms under your shoulders. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, right foot between your palms. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lunge forward. Inhale, shift back. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, back. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your back foot forward, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Close down your eyes here. And again, tuning back in, reuniting with your breath and observing what does your left side feel? What does your right side feel? Just becoming aware of the sensations, observing any changes from the last time that we were here. We're not comparing, we're just simply observing what is. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. And exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step all the way back into a high plank. Option to flow through a chaturanga or push straight back to down dog. Whatever your body wants you to do. And we will meet in down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, your left foot between your palms. Inhale, rotate your back foot and rise up for warrior two. <clears throat> so the back foot is parallel with the short edge of your mat. Front foot is forward. The front heel is intersecting with the arch of your back foot. So just kind of check out what's going on and creating a really stable foundation. Press equally through both heels, both ball mounts. Lift up your toes. We'll just wiggle the toes, just feeling into the heels and the ball, ball mounts of both of your feet. That front knee is a 90 degree angle. Front knee is drawing out towards the pinky toe. Arms reaching out equally in opposite directions. And as you inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears and exhale, slowly roll them down and back. And really suddenly in here, as if you could hang out here all day, because it's really comfortable. Not hard. <laughs> Inhale, reach your front arms forward. And exhale, slowly bring that left arm down, right arm reaches up. 
The left arm can rest on the left thigh. The left arm can just reach the fingertips down. Right arm is reaching up to the sky or left fingertips can come down to the earth. Left palm can come down to the earth. Whatever feels good in your body here, just keeping that knee and really grounding through that back heel. Keeping your lower body just as it is. Inhale, sweep your arms up and back for reverse warrior. Right palm gently resting on that back thigh. Left arm reaches up and back. Really feeling a stretch here through your left side. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Rotate that front foot over, over that way, <laughs> wherever you are. Over that way, towards the fireplace if you're in my living room. And so being in a wide-legged stance here, our feet are parallel with the short edges of our mat, arms reaching out, our chest is lifted up towards the, where the wall and the ceiling meet, our gaze is up, taking a deep inhale here, and as you exhale, slowly hinge forward, leading with your chest, head is the last thing to come down, your arms can come down and rest on your ankles. Palms can also rest on the earth right in front of your face. Palms can also reach behind you, kind of like you're trying to pull your upper body through your lower body. And wherever you have decided to be, I invite you to really release your head. Let go of your neck, let go of your shoulders, and really allow your head to hang. Our head does so much work for us, so giving it that space to just hang out and not have to do anything. And here, letting go of your jaw, letting go of your teeth, letting go of your cheeks, let go of your forehead, just really releasing everything here. And wherever you have landed, bring your palms back on the earth right in front of your face. Inhale for a halfway lift, coming up to a flat back. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, bring all 10 toes towards the front of your mat. Bring your back knee down to the earth. Palms come to the inside of the front foot and we're gonna walk our front foot, heel to it, over to the edge of our mat. So our heel is still on the mat. Our toes are off the mat, pointed at a 45 degree angle. So you should feel the stretch in your back hip. If you don't feel anything, you can feel free to Press into your back foot and kind of walk your knee back. If you walk it back, you're going to feel it. <laughs> and so just feeling into that stretch. It may be available to you to bring your forearms down to the earth. It's halfway available for me. <laughs> Still working on that one. Or if you have a block, you can rest your forearms on a block and you can totally Totally stay resting on your palms. Whatever feels good in your body. And again, wherever you've arrived, drop your head and let your head hang. You, you don't need to use any of your neck muscles for this place. And wherever you're at, bring your palms back down to the earth in front of you. <clears throat> Tuck your back toes and on an exhale, press into your palms, bring your front foot back to meet your back, coming into high plank. Again, option to lower to your knees and slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Palms under your shoulders, legs lift up as one. 
Inhale, rise up for Cobra Pose. Exhale, lower all the way back down. Inhale, tabletop. And exhale, down dog. All right, side one. Now we're on to side two. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, right foot between your palms. Rotate that back foot down and inhale, rise up for warrior two. So grounding down through this side, our back foot is parallel with the back edge of the mat. Front foot is perfectly straight, toes pointed towards the top. Our front heel is intersecting with the arch of our back foot. Front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Front knee is drawing out to the pinky toe. <clears throat> our arms are reaching equally in opposite directions. And as you inhale, bring your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them down and back. And settling into our warrior two. Because we can hang out here all day. Inhale, reach forward with your fingertips. Exhale, drop your right hand down, left arm reaches up. Again, right arm can rest on that right thigh. Right, right arm can just reach down while the left arm reaches up. Right arm can come down to the fingertips or right palm down to the earth and really focus the energy shooting through your back heel, really rooting into that back foot. Keeping your lower body exactly as it is. Inhale, sweep your arms up and back for reverse warrior. Left palm gently resting on that back thigh, right arm reaches up and back, Really feeling that stretch here through your side body. <clears throat> Front leg is continuing to bend at a 90 degree angle, drawing that pinky or that knee out towards the pinky. Inhale, warrior two. And as you exhale, all 10 toes towards that way. <laughs> so our legs, our feet are parallel with the short edges of the mat, bringing your palms behind your back, interlacing your fingers together, and then reaching your knuckles towards the earth. So you'll feel this in your shoulders. If this does not feel good in your body, you can place your palms on your lower back. So Take in an inhale here, chest is lifted, and as you exhale, slowly hinge at your hips, folding forward. Head is the last thing to come down. As you come down, really reach the knuckles of your hands up towards the sky. And if it's available in your body, you might even be able to bring your hands even more over and reach towards the side of the room. Whatever feels good, whatever stretch feels good, this is such a great heart opener. And again, reaching through those knuckles and at the same time, relaxing into your neck. Let go of your neck, let go of your shoulders from having to do any lifting of your head. And it may feel good to just shift your head back and forth in the no position, kind of getting used to saying no, right? We're saying no so that we can say yes to ourselves. And then part your palms gently. Bring your palms back down to the earth in front of your face. Inhale, halfway lift, coming to a flat back. 
Exhale, four. Inhale, all 10 toes point towards the top of your mat. Back knee comes down. Palms are to the inside of your front foot. Your front foot is heel toeing over to the edge of your mat. Heel is on your mat. Toes are off at a 45 degree angle. Setting up for runner's lunge. And again, feeling this stretch in your back hip. If you don't feel that, just pick up your toes, like press into your toes, pick up your back knee, and shift it back even further until you create the sensation in your back hip that you want to feel. You can stay on your palms or if it's available, come down to your forearm. I'm kind of proud of myself because I can, I can now kind of be on my forearms. Never used to be able to do that. Never thought I'd be able to do that. Yet yeah, here I am. So really breathing into your left hip here, giving it some extra TLC, some extra oxygen, letting go of your neck, let go of your jaw, go of your teeth. And wherever you're at, come back to your palms, Tuck your back toes, bring your front foot back to meet your back, coming into high plank, option to lower to your knees, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly, palms come down by your hips, palms face the earth, legs lift up together as one, and as we inhale, lifting everything up off the earth, Pointing the toes and the fingertips, reaching back to the back of the room, crown of the head, reaching forward, gaze is down, chin is tucked, inhale, lift everything a little higher, exhale, lower all the way back down, palms under your shoulders, inhale, tabletop, exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, your left knee behind your left wrist, or yes, your left wrist. Your left foot is going to come behind your right wrist. The back leg is coming down, setting up for pigeon. Walk yourself up first. So really kind of balancing in this space. Lifting your chest up, make sure that your back foot is straight behind you. Taking an inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, come down to your forearms. And if it's available, you can come down to your, rest your forehead onto your hand or even resting your forehead on the earth. Coming into a pigeon pose here. And really closing down your eyes. There is nothing more to see. And just feeling into your body, feeling into the sensations. Feeling into your body, reconnecting with your breath. We've been flowing through a practice where sometimes our breath gets challenged. So coming back into that space that allows us to slow it back down, tune back into it, reconnect with it, re-engage. And wherever you're at, come back to your palms. 
Tuck your back toes. And then on an exhale, press into your palms, press into your back toes, lift your leg up, come, coming back into a three-legged dog. Your left leg is lifted. Maybe bend that left knee. Do some hip circles with that left leg in one direction and then the other. And then whenever you feel complete, coming back to down dog with two feet and two hands. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale your right knee behind your right wrist, your right foot comes behind your left. Place your back leg on the earth. And again, looking back at your back foot to make sure it's straight, kind of coming up here. And then as you exhale, slowly walk forward. Bring your forearms to the earth if that's available. Bring your forehead to your palms, your forehead to the earth if that's available. If it's not, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Just taking yourself into a space that feels good for you and your body. And again, closing down your eyes, releasing and relaxing, feeling any sensations, feeling your heart beating, feeling the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. And wherever you're at, come back to your palms. Tuck your back toes under. And on an exhale, press into your palms, press into your back toes, and lift your right leg up and back for three-legged dog. Take some knee circles on this side. Whatever you did on the other side, just do the same on this side so you feel balanced. And then coming back to down dog, our last down dog of practice. And then as you inhale, look forward between your palms and exhale, step your feet all the way through, coming into a comfortable seat. The best part of yoga, right here. So your soles of your feet are on the earth, reaching your arms out in front of you, reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest, palms on your shins. Gently roll from side to side. Bringing your arms out by your sides like a T. Inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower your knees over to your left. Really feeling a side stretch here. Inhale back to center. And exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the right. Inhale back to center. And if it feels good in your body, 
Keep your knees bent, bring your feet up towards the ceiling. So the soles of your feet are reaching up to the ceiling. Take your palms, reach for the inside arch of your foot. Press into your foot, kind of bringing your knees into your armpits. And at the same time, your entire spine pressing into the earth. So your spine, your neck, your tailbone is really pressing into the earth. You may have to come out of your happy baby just a little bit to keep that low back, that tailbone pressed in. Really feeling into this stretch here. It may feel good to rock over to one side and straighten that leg. It may feel good to rock over to the other side, straighten that leg. And then whenever you feel complete with your happy baby, bring your knees back into your chest, palms to your shins, lift your head up to your knees, curling into a tiny little ball, giving each of your knees a loving kiss in deep gratitude that your physical body has been able to be in this practice. Then take in a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, Bring everything down to the earth, coming into your Shavasana. Bringing your feet out to the wide edges of your mat. Your arms can come out by your sides as much as feels good in your body. Just allowing yourself to Take up space today to create that space, to feel the space that you've created. Tuning back in here, feeling any sensations and then letting them all go as you rest and I will come back for you.
right wing to continue resting in your Shavasana. And if you feel ready to invite movement back into your body, you can begin wiggling the fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe wiggling your ankles, rolling your wrists, rocking your head gently from one side and then the other. Maybe taking in a big overhead stretch, reaching your arms up and back behind you. Reaching your toes to the front of the room, really feeling that space in your body. And then whenever you feel ready, bring your knees into your chest, palms to your shins. And then slowly roll over to your favorite side coming into fetal pose. And whenever you have arrived there, take that same arm and reach it up behind you, using that arm as a pillow, resting your head on your arm. This is a place of rebirth, the place of new beginnings. In these times, I feel as though every moment is a new beginning. Every moment is changing. And so taking this loving peace that you all have created here today in your practice, and continuing to carry this piece with you as you navigate through this day. Tuning back into this space, tuning back into this feeling right now as you walk through your entire day. Whenever you feel ready, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed down here. And when you have reached a comfortable seat, bring your palms to touch, bring your hands to heart center. Press your knuckles of your thumbs into your chest, feeling your heart beating, drop your head, bow your head down towards your palms. It has truly been an honor to be in this practice with all of you who are physically with me and with all of you who are on video. Thank you for showing up to your practice. Thank you for being in this practice with all of us in this community. And thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice. <coughs> the light within me honors, sees, reflects, and loves the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.